Hey folks, John with Complete Technology Solutions, your friend in the computer business. So guys, I wanted to discuss something with you here, and you can probably tell by the title what we're going to do here, but something keeps reoccurring on a couple of these Pepperball videos that I really want to address. Let's get this started. All right, guys, so here's what we're going to do. You guys can see the display cabinet here in front of me. Now, this is full of pretty much every Pepperball gun that you can currently buy that I would actually use in a self-defense scenario. Um, and I'm talking about everything from the Valken M117. I know we haven't seen that on a video, but we will. Um, all the way through the Bernas, we've got salt supplies, everything from Humorex and Lancer, a little of everything in here. But at the end of the day, guys, all of these are tools your primary self-defense device is right here. Use your head. You cannot expect to pick up any one of these weapons and think my entire self-defense scenario is solved. So, yeah, you always get the tough guys on the video. There's always somebody out there, what's well, not a real gun? You know, at the end of the day, guys, we're talking about a self-defense scenario that you, you, you need to be prepared for all the time. It starts with your surroundings. Always keep a vigilant eye on what's going on around you guys, especially if you're going somewhere that you know would technically be classified as a soft target. And we're talking about movie theaters and schools and all these places that all of this bad stuff always seems to happen. That's a soft target. So if you're in those areas, keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, and use your senses. Know what's going on around you at all times. Um, number two, practice with your weapon you can have the burner or the even the pepperball tcp firing at maximum velocity hard enough to crack a bone and it does you no good if at the time you need to use it you pull it out and have no idea what you're doing you got to practice with your weapons so a vigilance know what's around you be conscious look around you number two know your weapon if you guys get one of these take it out and practice with it Practice, practice, practice. Another thing, you may have the best pepper ball gun in the world, but if you cannot hit your target, what good is it? You need to practice with your weapon. Take them out and use them, guys. You know, you've all seen me shoot down the range here, and I'm a pretty good shot, but that's because I practice a lot. I fire these things all the time to kind of get a feel for them, and that's another thing. Every one fires a little different. Use the weapons practice with the weapons now the other thing that's been bugging the snot out of me we did a recent video on the upgrade on the hdp 50 and if you guys did not see that video i'll drop a link up here for you all we did we didn't even use the rocket kit 50 and by the way guys i have one of the rocket kit 50 kits sitting right here and i have this here because i have a plan for this in another weapon that I may or may not even use this, guys, because at the end of the day, we were able to just simply remove the valve block out of there, and it fired like a beast. So the question was, and somebody said, well, I did this modification, and I'm only getting two rounds out of it. So here's what we're going to do. This is the modified version. Now, this is the one you actually see on that video. So if you, if you watch that video, you'll see this is the weapon that we actually took apart removed the valve black on, reassembled it, and we test fired it. And you can see the velocities we got. We're not actually doing that today, guys. We just want to see how many we get out of one CO2 cartridge on this. But before we do that, check this out. This is also the modded version. If you guys saw that last little short that I did, check this thing out, guys. My daughter hand-painted this. Isn't that amazing? And then she clear-coated it, so it's actually... It's, it's not going to scratch. It's a beautiful, beautiful weapon. Well, this is going to be another one of the custom ones we're going to be offering for sale shortly. In fact, we can do custom jobs on them to some extent. You know, she's a, a really good artist, and she is really good at what she does, but it's one of those things she kind of needs to know the characters, and she happens to know these really, really well. So there you go. All right, guys, so we cannot have anybody say there was movie magic. Here we go. We're going to take this out and get the sticker off here. It's driving me crazy. I just put a little modded sticker aside. Remember, they all look the same. Okay, we're going to unscrew the bottom here. There we go. We're going to take a CO2 cartridge. 
with a drop of Pell gun oil. All right, we're going to drop this in, nozzle up, okay? And we're going to screw this down. Now, we're not going to over-secure this, guys, because I don't have the Allen key on me and I don't want to go search for it, although we could use this one if I had to. All right, now, we're going to go ahead. For our first test, let's just load the standard uh, T4E rubber balls, all right? I'll have a link for this down there. Now, these are not the ones with the steel core, and I have a theory about that, in fact. All right, so we're going to slide this forward right here and lock it into place. And then we're going to load in the balls here. So we can get an even number. I'm only going to load in five at a time. Two, three, four, and five. And I believe, actually, that's the capacity. As you can see, we are at capacity there. All right, so we're going to slide this little lever. That'll lock it into place, and we're ready to go. Okay? So we're going to puncture the seal. And as you can see, it punctured right there, and no leakage. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera, guys, just so you can see us fire it. You can see it in here. I'm going to keep it in frame. All right, we're not aiming for anything in here particular. I mean, glasses might be a good idea. We're not aiming for anything in particular, guys. All we're going to do is shoot the target and run these out. God dang, that's loud. Holy cow, guys. Okay. All right, guys. You may have heard that we actually had four shots there, but this was stuck up a little bit. I didn't have it stuck all the way down, so it wasn't feeding rounds properly. That was me. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's the fifth round, but we had already fired four more shots. Okay, so let's just blank fire it. And there you go. So that would have been 10 in total. But let's check it again. Now, honestly, guys, when it comes to this one, I'm not overly concerned about that. Let me turn you back over here. Um, primarily because you're going to hold five rounds in that thing. Five rounds. And at the end of the day, you're not going to reload this. This is one of those weapons you're going to set down on your um, nightstand and you're going to use it if you ever have to. You're going to puncture the cylinder, and you're going to fire it. Hang on a second here. Boy, I tell you, these things, and see a little bit of pressure still left in there. Not a lot, but a little bit. All right, so let's put another CO2 cartridge in. Pull that one out. Throw it away. This time, guys, I promise I'll, I'll feed it correctly so we don't get jams like that. All right. Brand new CO2 cartridge and some Pell. All right. That Pell gun oil can be so messy, guys. Just FYI. All right, here we go again. Now, this time, we're going to fire. Hang on a second here. We're going to fire the rubber balls. These are the rubber with the steel core, okay? So these are the actual riot balls that I would suggest loading into this. By the way, uh, if you ever want to avoid any other uh, feed jams, especially on these rubber balls, guys, a little spray, a spurt of silicone spray will take care of that. Uh, I don't have any on me right now, or I probably would have already done that myself. So, all right. One, two, three, and four, and five. Four, and five. This time, we're going to lock it down and make sure we actually got pressured. Okay, now we're pressurized. All right. Here we go. We're going to puncture. All right. Turn the camera for you. All right. Hopefully, you guys can see. There we go. All right. Glasses on. Okay, here we go. God. That, th guys, that pressure. Uh, <laughs> okay, the other one, when you're hearing the other one fire, um, it honestly, it sounds like a 22. It's really loud. I probably ought to be wearing ear protection if we're being totally honest here. But, okay, here we go. Let's just go ahead and keep on going. God. It makes your ears ring. It seriously makes your whole, your ears ring. Holy cow. All right, guys. So here's what we're going to do. So we know that it'll fire the rubber ones. We're getting an average of 10 out of there maybe nine or ten total so all right here's what we're going to do let's throw that one away let's get ourselves one more now 
I want to fire this one using pepper balls. Now, this is another question that people had is, will this fire the pepper balls? And guys, I haven't tested this yet. I'm a little afraid here because with the velocity that comes out of this right now, it could get a little sketchy. Um, the advantage being those rubber balls, if you're not using silicone spray, which I highly suggest that you do, um, these are smooth. And these are obviously not, these are the uh, uh, inert pepper balls. We're not actually going to be gassing ourselves here today. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Three, four, five. All right. Slide that in, lock her in place. And as you can see, she's locked in and ready. All right. Here we go. Charged up and no leakage. Make sure we can see everything. Yep. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Wow. Actually, I fired all five and then two more by accident. Uh, okay, well, hold on. Three, four. Yeah, so nine. We're getting an average of nine shots. Now, let's do this in a scenario. By the way, if you ever want to discharge, if you, you got nothing left, but you want to discharge this, just push this button. That'll discharge whatever's left. If you can't push that, you have too much pressure in there to do it. All right, so let's do, let's do one more, but I want to do it in a scenario that's a little more what I would consider a home scenario situation you guys are going to walk with me back here i got to get one more co2 cartridge hang on a second here Ugh. okay all right so get our co2 cartridge get our pell gun oil drop that in there there we go okay when I have mine loaded, I alternate my rounds. And, and just to show you what I mean by that, guys, this is, you guys, th this is the Walther. So I told you I alternate between the burner and the Walther. So if you look at the way the rounds are loaded, I've got a solid, and yes, by the way, those are aluminum, guys. Solid, pepper, solid, pepper, solid, pepper, solid, pepper. And then first one out is going to be a pepper ball. That's the way I like to do it. Um, it's just, number one, it's cost effective. But number two, um, there's just no you need to use a billion pepper balls. There just isn't. So, all right. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and slide this back. And let's do pepper, solid. We're going to mix them up here, guys. Rubber, pepper, pepper. All right. You guys get that? So we got a big mixture going on here. Let's see what actually happens. All right. Turning the camera for you. And if this holds, we should get all five of these with, with no problem at all. Uh, I'm not actually, once again, glasses in. The, God, this is loud. I really wish I had some earplugs. All right, I'm going to try for some, um, oh, that's right. Not, it's going to fire a whole lot better if you go. <laughs> yeah, you see, blooper reel. All right, here we go. Golly. Okay, that's five rounds yeah okay uh let's load up some more turn you over here because i am curious that's that was a true five rounds i've got four more of the solid rubber cores let's go pepper solid 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 and then pepper now i don't know if that last pepper ball is going to make it out of there or not but we're going to test it and see all right here we go turn you back down all right Glasses on. And they did. So how much do we have left? So that's 10 rounds. And Okay, right there. Exactly 10 rounds, guys. So 9 to 10 rounds. The reality is with this mod, this is something you're going to lay on your, uh, you're going to lay this down on your uh, nightstand. Or, you know, if you were using it in a self-defense scenario, that's fine. Because the truth is, you're not going to reload this thing mid-combat. You're just not going to do it. I mean, carry a what, a, you know, a whole pocket full of rubber balls and load this thing up? No, I don't think that's the way this is going to work. Um, so at the end of the day, those five shots are critical. If you're using it for home defense, lay it on your nightstand, pick it up, and fire like crazy. Load it up with pepper balls. Obviously, it'll fire the pepper balls and it didn't rupture them. That's impressive. I'm actually very glad to see that because I was a little concerned about that, to be honest. So, what did we learn? Well, 
We learned that you're going to get nine or ten shots out of this just by pulling the valve block. We learned that it does not leak, which is another question people had about the seals. You just saw me put a crap ton of magazines through this. The only issues I had were feeding on these. These are those rubber balls that were having trouble feeding. And I think it has to do with the fact that this stuff is very, it's tacky, very, very tacky. And if you'll remember, we had the same problem in the uh, Berna. And, well, the salt supply didn't because that thing will fire anything you put in it. But the Berna had the same problem. Any of those rubber balls that had that sticky surface, that also caused that to happen. So, uh, like I said, if you had this thing loaded up, a quick spurt of silicone spray, that would be smooth as glass. You'll notice it didn't jam at all on the pepper balls. That's because they're smooth. No problem at all. But now, the good thing, these are now available to purchase through me. So, if you want to purchase a modified version, either the standard colored modified or one of them that is custom done like by my daughter, or we even have other ones we're doing here shortly that I'll show you guys as soon as I get them done, um, you just got to let me know. I will put my email in the description below. Definitely, 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 this is going to be based on availability, guys. I have a bunch of these right now but I have a lot of work to do. So if you just let me know what you want, we'll see what we can do for you. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope we address some of your concerns. Um, obviously, the HTP 50, that is one of the most versatile weapons that I've actually been able to fire so far. And guys, there are mods that are available for this that actually will extend this barrel out. Um, there's actually a bottom slide mod. Somebody even did a 3D printed spring loaded extra mag for it. That was neat. So what would happen is you'd load it up, slide the mag on, it would lock in place. Then when you would fire your rounds, you'd slide this rubber up and tilt the gun. And as soon as you did it, it dumped five more rounds in, and then you just pop this down. That was pretty neat. I'm actually going to try to get the STL files. And if I do, I'll pop those on there for you too. But this is definitely one of the most versatile of all of the what I'd consider entry level uh, uh, guns that there are. It's great. It really is. Don't be afraid to try the mod yourself. That video I made is straightforward. Uh, for those who are wondering, this was the F marked, and I'm going to show you that. The F marked American version. Hopefully that'll focus. There you go. Which means that this was the 7.5 Jewel. It is not anymore. Now it is actually a functional and very effective weapon. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I will be out of town next week for a couple days, um, but I should have another video dropping sometime around Monday or Tuesday. So I keep an eye out for that one too. Have a great weekend, guys. Be safe out there. Stay in the air conditioning. It's hot and have a good one. Bye-bye.